I really want to tell people I've been using this every single day. I have been dreaming of this moment for way too long. This eyeshadow palette is literally my baby. It was so important for me to release this one first. This is called the bronze palette. I love bronze colors and browns. These are colors that I use. Well, I use this palette every day. I've been using this palette every day for the past five or six months. Every Snapchat video, every Instagram you've seen me in, it's been this palette. It's been so hard to keep this a secret. All of the makeup artists that work with me know that I'm very specific about the color browns that go in my eye, and I really feel like I perfected it in this palette. This formula is very long wearing and they blend so effortlessly. I use bronzite for my lash line and I blend it in my lash line. I use obsidian to do my eyeshadow liner. If I'm going out, I'll incorporate quartz and goldstone, and I love to put jasper under my brow bone and sometimes as a base. The color orange was very important for me to put in my palette. I feel like orange really makes the colors pop. I made this the perfect palette for me and hopefully you guys too. I just love them and I can't wait for you guys to try. I am so excited to bring Ariel in today to show you guys how to use every single color in my eyeshadow palette to create this look. So using Jasper, I'm gonna go ahead and take it on a flat shader brush and place it at the brow bone, just for a soft highlight. Make sure it's really well buffed. I really love these shadows. Like they fall on really nicely onto the skin. There's no actual fallout from the eyeshadow, so you have a smooth application without a mess. Super pigmented. I'm really in love with them. So we've used Jasper as a base. I'm gonna go in and further highlight her brow bone using quartz. This is a really soft, like, champagne-y, shimmery color. It'll just help to pop the brow bone and accentuate right underneath her brows. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same color quartz at the tear duct of the eye to open and separate the eyes. You wanna bring this up towards the lash line at the very inner corner. Now using Topaz, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly take a blending brush through her crease and buff the color to start creating the hollow of her eye at the crease line. This will serve you as your transition shade. Another great thing about Kylie's eyeshadows is that they're very buildable. So you can go from applying it very sheerly to going in and having great depth with the color. Right now I'm just using this as a base to make the other shadow stand out. This is just creating a halo of color around her eye. So I'm gonna go ahead with a smaller blending brush and pick up the color Tiger's Eye and apply this right at the lash line. And you're just gonna follow that through the crease line and bring it down towards the lash line. Make sure it's really evenly blended. You're just softly cutting the crease to create more shape and definition to the eye. Gonna use that same fluffy brush I used and make sure it's really evenly blended. I'm gonna further intensify the crease color applying Hematite. I really, really like this color because of the amount of redness the color contains. I feel like it brings e even that much more warmth to the eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep the intensity more towards the outer V of the eye as we wanna accentuate more of like an almond shape. So Kylie's a really big fan of orange and she created this color called citrine. I'm gonna go ahead and blend over the top of everything I've done just to bring back more of that orangey tone to her eye and make her green and her eye pop out again. And I will be taking the color bronzite and rimming that closer to her lash line just to further intensify the almond shape that we're creating with her eye. Make sure you create a very thin line, not going past the center of the eye, and getting thicker as you go out. We're gonna blend out this line. This is simply gonna create a lifted eye shape and give her like a more catty winged eye without it necessarily being a wing. Working with Kylie, I've realized like she's really specific about the browns we use or like 
the warmth or the tone of the color. And like, I really think she mastered and perfected that with this palette she created. Thanks, Ariel. Using Obsidian, I'm gonna go ahead and further darken her lash line. Lastly, I'm gonna use the color Quartz and Goldstone mixed together on her lid. Simply another great use you can get out of the products is mixing the eyeshadows together to create a custom blended color. Just gonna buff through the eyes, make sure there's no lines. So now we just finished Kylie's skin. We're gonna move on to the under eye and finish up the eyeshadow application. We're gonna use Hematite and rim that right along the outer edge of her eye. Use the very end of the brush to connect the edge of the lash shadow application we did to the bottom application. Try to keep this color concentrated to the lash line as close and tight as possible as you can. Now taking a clean smudging brush, softly blend through the color to ensure no lines and a perfect blend. Now using citrine to blend through the color that we've previously applied, I'm gonna take a small fluffy blending brush and rim that through the lower lash line. This will just create a warm halo of light around her eye. Some people would be really afraid to use the color orange to kind of blend through their lower lash line. I just think it adds like a little bit of warmth and pops out the eye color. I'm gonna go ahead and apply Tiger's Eye using the same fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna focus this color more towards the outer corner of her eye. And this will also help to just intensify the outer V and make her eye look that much more almond. Just go back and take quartz and re-emphasize a highlight at the tear duct of the eye to make sure you open and separate the eyes to give a more awakened look. Something else that's really fun is applying Kylie True Brown K in the waterline as an eyeliner. It's really warm and rich and it'll, it'll be just enough to bring out her eye color and bring a little bit more depth to the waterline. This is my first eyeshadow palette. I made two more fun eyeshadow palettes that you're gonna see before next year, so stay tuned for those. And I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this and try it out. Hey guys, this is my purple palette. I've been working on this for the past few months and here it is. So we have Periwinkle Trophy Stone, Lilac Wine and Dine, Turning Violet, Amethyst, Purple Smoke, and Blueberry. I went back to my nine pan original. I really wanted this palette to fit in with the bronze palette and the burgundy palette. I really wanted it straightforward. I wanted it to make sense and all the colors and necessities you need to make a purple eye. The first thing I'm gonna use is the color Periwinkle on her brow bone just to pop her brow bone a little. It's a soft shimmery pink with like little hints of lilac. So next we're gonna grab the color stone and apply that in her crease. I really fell in love with the palette. I thought it was just really vibrant and I just fell in love with like how the color story went together. I feel like the shimmers on this palette too are just a little amplified. bit more amplified than most yeah. of your palettes. They just get better every time. So I'm just going back in and further intensifying the crease so that when I apply the other colors, there's just a background for the other eyeshadows to blend together. So when you're doing a purple eye, in my opinion, there's no really right or wrong way of doing makeup, but I just feel like maybe not bringing up the intense purple all the way up is the way to go so that the eye doesn't look as crazy when you're looking at it in person. So something like this color, the color stone, is a really good color to blend and have a transition color. So the next color I'm gonna be using is Turning Violet. I'm gonna grab that with a Kylie brush, a Kylie blending brush, and I'm gonna pop that right over her lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that a little bit lower in her crease, fading more into her actual eyelid. I feel like this is like a purple nighttime look. The next color I'm gonna grab is Amethyst. And I'm taking a small pencil brush and I'm gonna go right over that same color, but more closer to the lash line. I'm not gonna take it up into the crease. This has a really pretty, almost like grape sheen to it. 
it reflects like tones of a more blue undertone purple, which is really, really pretty. I'm just gonna buff it up as if it's going all over the lid, but I'm gonna leave a, a small transition towards the center of the lid just so that I can apply something else there. Depending on the way you apply these pigments on, onto the eye, like these eyeshadows, the pigment of the eyeshadow will lay differently. So if I'm pressing the eyeshadow onto the eyelid, I see that a lot more of the payoff of the color will, will show up. If I swipe it, you'll get like a really nice dust of a sheen of the blue undertones that come out, which is really good to know for versatility. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the color Lilac. I'm taking a flat shader brush and applying it to the actual lid, more towards the inner part of her eye. This will open up her lid and create some type of separation between her crease color and the color we laid down before. Weren't expecting that one, were you? No. <laughs> My goodness. Mm -hmm. Kylie has a tendency of messing around with me like this, especially when I'm doing brows. Oh my goodness. I gotta keep you on your toes. So I'm gonna go back in with the color Amethyst and the same pencil brush I had, and just merge both of the colors together. How about blending here, you guys? Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm gonna be using the color Wine and Dine and I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush through her crease. And this one's gonna kind of set the tone of like all the purple colors we've applied and just like kind of fuse them together at the very crease of her eye. The colors really do work well together. You could either create a daytime look or a nighttime look, like it's very usable. So the next color I'm gonna grab is the color Blueberry. I'm taking that on a flat angled brush and I'm gonna go on her lash line. This is a really interesting color. I love this color. And it is, I was just gonna say, it's so pretty. It's funny because as I'm applying it over the purple, like I thought it was gonna read super blue, but it just blends so nicely. It's almost like, I don't know, it just, it really works. And I think it has a lot to do with the blue reflective colors inside the, the, the purples. Kylie decided to make all her colors like super cool tone instead of like really, really warm. And I think, again, this color just works really, really well with it. It's a nice like color to smoke out the purples. We're using it as like a thin line to like define her eye, like, her eye shape. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I had before um, to blend out the purples, like my small little pointer brush. I'm just gonna like flick it at the end. When you're creating your palettes, like what are you thinking about the most when you're when you're creating this? Like what do you want? Honestly, palettes are so hard and there's so much that goes into it. You know, I feel like everyone is super focused on how shadows swatch. Okay and they're forgetting how it performs on the eye. Right. And it's also just doing the scheme of the colors. Yeah. In the actual palette. Those colors could be mixed around in the palette and totally not make sense. Palettes are definitely a challenge. I'm learning each time and I'm excited about the purple palette because now it's a part of like the family, the bronze, sure. burgundy, purple, and I eventually want to do a lot more. What else do you guys think I should do? So for the bottom eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with stone. I'm using a flat smudging brush. This one's gonna be kind of like my transition color just to bring in the purples back. I'm gonna take a big fluffy blending brush that previously had some purples. <laughs> so it's funny because whenever I, Kylie asks me about color, like if we wanna do something with color, I'm always the one to like try to kick her off of it, but this palette's making me really love color and I think that's important because the fact that somebody like me who really doesn't like playing with color enjoys it, I think it's a good palette. Thank you. So I'm gonna go back into the color Amethyst with the same pencil brush and just bring some of the purple underneath her eyes. Because this color is slightly reflective, it'll definitely bounce some light into her actual eye color. And when there's like flash photography, like this is where your eye color can kind of get come off a little lighter. So the last part of the tutorial is using the color Periwinkle. And I'm gonna take it right into the center of her eyes just for like a little pop of highlight. Pretty. So Ariel didn't use Trophy and Purple Smoke, so I just wanted to swatch them for you guys. This is Trophy and Purple Smoke.
I couldn't wait to film this video. I was so excited, I finally perfected it. So this is a sample, this isn't the actual packaging, but I'm really happy about this. I changed my burgundy palette probably five times, that's why it's taken a while, but I feel like I finally have perfected it. This is like everything I wanted my burgundy palette to be. The names in my bronze palette were all some of my favorite crystals. This palette I just really wanted to represent each color, naked, beach, Penny, my three shimmers are cities that I love, LA, Dubai, and New York. In my last palette, in the middle, my pop color was orange, and this time I put a bright burgundy in here, and it really just brings out, I feel like, all the other colors. The shimmers in this palette are different than the shimmers in my bronze palette. My bronze palette was kind of an everyday palette. I wanted the shimmers more of like a sheen, not so crazy. But these, I had a lot more fun with them. It's actually a brand new formula, so they have a lot more sparkle than the last palette. So now Ariel is gonna show you guys how to create this look with my palette. So using Naked on the brow bone with a small blending brush, we're gonna go ahead and pop the highlight right underneath the brow bone. This happens to be my favorite little highlighter for the brow bone. So we're gonna go ahead and apply it right there at the tear duct of the eye, just to open and separate the eyes. Using Beach in her crease, I'm gonna take a blending brush and swipe it through her crease line to create some dimension and a transition color for the rest of my eyeshadow application. This color has quite a bit of like a warm, like reddish undertone. It really helps with the transition of like more mauve plummy colors. Using Penny, we're gonna use it to rim it through the crease of her eye to bring a little bit more warmth and definition. I'm gonna go ahead and take the same blending brush I used for the color Beach and blend through the color to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm gonna go ahead and use Penny again with the same blending brush and bring it a little closer to the lash line. Start creating more of that almond shape that Kylie likes her eyes. Make sure to carry that color through the crease line to ensure that all the colors are flowing together. I'm going to quickly dip into the color Brick and the color Almond. Dust it off on the back of my hand just to give a little bit more of that burgundy shade and dust it through the crease line of her eye. I'm going to take a little bit of Almond on a small tapered blending brush and run that through her lash line just at the very outer corner. This is going to bring a little more emphasis to that almond shape we're trying to create. Make sure that's pretty intense, but still buffing it out so it's not a harsh line. And carrying it a little bit through the outer portion of her crease, just to create that V shape of like, you know, the end of an almond. I'm gonna take a same blending brush I was using before, buff through the crease line, create that perfect blend. So taking burgundy now, it's like a bright, cute little color. We're just gonna run it through the crease line to bring out all the colors of the eyeshadows. So using Naked, LA, Dubai, and New York, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the lid of the eye. So for this palette, Kylie decided to make her shimmers a little bit more shimmery. And let me tell you guys, like they lay on the eyes beautifully. Your lids are just like sparkling. They're just so cute. Wow. Just because I want to warm up the lid a little, I'm gonna go ahead and take LA and Dubai and just pop it one more time right there at the center of the lid. I'm gonna take all the matte neutrals, Beach, Penny, Brick, and Almond, and lightly buff it once more through the crease to ensure extra definition. Lastly, one more time, we're gonna take Almond on a little smudging brush and right at the lash line, give a more intense background for your lashes. Take a little blending brush and blend it out. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. There's no product on this and just buff through the color to make sure there's a seamless blend. Take my highlight brush, go back into Naked and give a little pop at the highlight. So we just finished the face and I just applied a thin amount of almond rimmed through the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and now use a little bit of burgundy just to bring out the burgundy shade in the eye. Something really cool about Kylie's palettes is they're pretty self-explanatory. Your center color is the one that brings like the pop of your eyeshadows, like it, it brightens up your eyeshadows. Just like in the bronze palette, you have your orange in the center. This one has the burgundy shade in the center. So I'm gonna have Kylie look up and I'm gonna use the Kyliner in brown 
and run it through her waterline. And that's about it for the eyes. <laughs>